All right, back to the game after I had some nice cold milk. Lucy's milk, maybe. So, nothing's this way. No self-respecting Alternian troll kid would dare keep a dry, unwatered lawn ring. I think the grass outside your hive turned yellow was just begging to get yourself cold. Harsh, but fair, you think. God, life on Alternia was so great. An ordinary domestic dross coffer. It's full of smelly garbage, but it hasn't been dragged outside the ring yet. Maybe the waste collection German isn't scheduled to make a pickup tonight? But how does Mina know this stuff? Huh. You got an Alternian soft drink. It's Tabros. You're not really up on Alternian history, but apparently at some point the Empress got fed up with the subjugulator stranglehold in the soda market and released a drink that was said to be more loaded with the sugar with sugar than even the wicked elixir itself. The High Bloods considered such marketing reports to be blasphemous lies, however. And they were right. The beverage actually contained zero calories, which she secretly mandated so as to preserve her slim figure. But all the low blood suckers guzzled the cans down by the billions, none the wiser, while the crafty condes raked in the cash. If someone actually told you the story, you'd spend the next ten minutes fangirling on the floor. Sounds like Meanie, alright. Okay, I guess I can't eat down there. Mm hmm okay. The door is locked. You knock, but no one answers. This seems to be an Alternian neighborhood. Aside from the violence, Alternian culture seems like it must have been pretty similar to life on the forest, lawn rings and all. Then again, as a spoiled runaway princess, you never did spend much time in the burbs, so what do you know? Better leave it alone. Might have the troll rabies. <laughs> Some kind of critter. So, where do I go? Let's see, what's this? Warning, this feature is experimental. Use it only if you're having stability issues and want to keep your place should the application crash. Crash. Save files are discarded when the browser is closed. Okay. Cool. Same control scheme. Just gotta find... Okay, stairs. Cool. The Hovering Maritime Stallion issues a stern, fatherly neigh. Hashtag Seahorse Dad. Oh, Cronus. <laughs> well, well, well. Globes. What? I saw you walk in my vein and I had this smooth line all ready to go. But for some reason I decided to open it with a vague tongue twister. Very nice, Amphora. Starting to kill a lion with three consecutive W birds in a row. Hashtag W's are hard. Hashtag they're hard no one understands. Hashtag these two. What, uh, what is your killer pick of mine going to be? Or should I ask? Hashtag no. <sighs> never even mind. So ruined now. Hashtag just never even. Just saw you strutting in my direction with all your impressive moxie and confidence for the first time in how long? I got a little excited. I was gonna blow you out the water with that line, but I guess nothing's changed. I guess not. Sounds like you're still a bar to try too hard. Oh, nice. You always knew how to twist the fork. Actually, all you girls are quite adept at twisting your respective utensils. Hashtag utensil kind. Guys, too, now that I think about it. I ask you a question? How do all you pretentious scenester types enjoy being so cruel to especially sensitive and artistic people? So I take it even after a billion sweeps here with that boatload of eligible spook shoulders to mock on, you still never got any action? First you twist the fork, then you use it to pry into my personal life? That's really so swell of you, Mina. Without commenting specifically on that, because seriously, what? So rude. I will say it gets very frustrating after the first few epics trying to hit heads or tails of what people are even looking for. I mean, in any quadrant. Now, please don't tell anyone I said so, but you and I both know pretty much all these people should feel honored to go out with this guy like me. 
avoid being royalty and all, and not even slightly put off by dating down on the spectrum. I mean, really, how much more evident can that make to everyone that I'm really a cool, progressive, easygoing dude who doesn't take the social order seriously or buy into any of the stereotypes? First of all, as if the human spectrum scene isn't beyond played out. Hashtag, you should be sticking your fork in that. I barely ever even bring up my high social status. It could be less of a big deal to me, but I think people maybe are still intimidated by it. They're probably putting me on a pedestal, in spite of all my easygoing assurances that my royal lineage is something I never even think about. Like, no friend, I am just like you. We laugh at the same jokes, listen to, well, to some extent, the same music. Hashtag, at least I used to listen to music you like. Hashtag, does that count? And all these cats and kittens, I'm telling you, they're always drawn to the freaks and rejects. You have to be broken in some way to get a little complicated attention. Hashtag cats, hashtag kittens, hashtag freaks, hashtag rejects, hashtag broken. Never even seemed to give me the time of day to a guy who's sensitive and listens to people and sticks to his poetry and music and, I guess, someone who tries to be there for them. Hashtag sensitive, hashtag listens, hashtag poetry, hashtag music, hashtag there for them. However, the bright side of my various rejections is that it's helped me craft a private list of people who are objectively fucking terrible. Which I'd be happy to share with... Mina? Where'd you go? Crutch, you walked away while I was saying stuff. Really blew that one in record time. Okay. His voice is hard to, to do regularly. I'm trying to go for the uh, sort of greaser sort of thing. But it's difficult to maintain without making him sound like he's talking funny. Okay, let's ask Curtis to join. We're gonna make this quick. And this ain't like a diving board for you to launch off a bunch of feelings and romp robs. Just give me a straight answer. I'm getting a posse together to kill an invincible monster. You want in? Yes, no. Hashtag YOLO. Hashtag even though. Hashtag you can die twice. Hashtag whatever. Whoa, nice. Just got here and you're already going diabolical. That's the sauce. I'd love to help. You know how I love to help out and be there for attractive people. It's kind of my thing. But, ugh, here we go. Mina, I just don't think I'm in that kind of space now in my life. Or afterlife, I mean. What space? An aggressive space. I'm trying to cool it, be more introspective, search my feelings, work on my music. Hashtag, grease my hair. I don't think I'd be much good in a fight. I've been trying to get in touch with who, or I guess what, I really am, and I think I've been making some nice breakthroughs. I'm telling you this with confidence, but I think I'm approaching a kind of awakening, especially since I first started learning about humans. I think I actually might be... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hashtag, uh-uh. Hashtag, stop saying whatever that was. I do not care. I don't know why I put a hashtag there, but there it is. You're right. I shouldn't burden you with my problems. Forget I said anything. I wouldn't want to compromise our friendship, not even to speak of the potential for us to develop into something more than just friends. Hashtag by which I mean two people who freely engage in sexual intercourse. Oh, right. You asked me how my music was going these days, didn't you? No. It's going pretty nicely, I think. Been messing with dual sawtooth waveforms. I think I really could be hitting my signature sound. Hashtag, if not my signature shape at the very least. Here, listen to this track. I wrote it in anticipation of your arrival. Is this the... Huh. Not clicking that. Um, I see. Then what about... Nah. Hmm? Ew. Hashtag creep. Wait. I probably shouldn't have shown you those. Okay, hold on. I know I have something here you'll dig. <laughs> so that was a no to my invite then. Which got rescinded halfway through this combo anyway. Time to jet before you sketch me out some more pro times. Three bubble broke. Broken? Okay. So, where's Carcat? Oh, the Vantis look alike? Yeah, he came by this way. Tried to start a friendly conversation with him, but he just slipped me off and locked himself up in that hive there. Looks like he conjured the memory of some sort of complicated puzzle door from some ancient ruins. Tried to open it, but it looks totally impossible. Kid sure knows how to give a guy a cold shoulder. What do you want with him, anyway? No fin by. Ah, uh, I see how it is. Cronus gets the shaft while you scurry away to flirt with some infantile loudmouth. Why am I not surprised? 
You have something neither mentally unstable or big enough asshole to catch your eye. No big deal. I just record my feelings on the subject through a bit of slam poetry and bubble my sorrows through the... And yep, looks like I'm talking to myself again. She's gone. <laughs> Go away, Kronos. Is that a heavy Kronos? Ew, no. There's not a snow bubble's chance in Monster Hell you're being this guy. Okay. See you, Kronos. You got a diamond key. Use diamond key. Cool. Hmm? What? Some careless little of this poor infant grub all alone to fend for itself. So in other words, just like all grubs on Alternia. Big whoop. No. You got a classical. You absolutely love this, dude. It's nautical nature. Also, hoarding items such as this will nicely complement your increasing manic obsession with Carcat. Hashtag so, hashtag there's that too. And now I see where the catfish pairing came from. You got a whole bunch of sea dweller bling. It's pretty obvious this all belongs to Cronus over there. He's just not wearing it right now, so you can convince everyone he doesn't feel like his royalty status is a big deal, even though he does. You have no problem whatsoever with selling the shit to the highest bidder, though. You pocket the gaudy loot while giggling. Bang, bang, bang! Is anyone home, you say? But of course no one is, because most of these hives are just memory projections. You got Ahab's crosshairs. You raise this awesome legendary weapon to the heavens and watch it sparkle a bit. Just before you bring it down on your knee and snap it in half while laughing maniacally. You hear a muffled sob from in Boris' direction. That was a priceless family heirloom. I have to go down here, I guess. Is it? Could it be? It is! It's Problem Sleuth, Ace, Dick, and Pickle Inspector in their original Prospidian attire. You knew it! You knew you would find them eventually. It's so great to meet. Wait. This is not problems with Ace, Dick, and Pickle Inspector. These are just some random Prospidians who are similarly proportioned. Hashtag proportioned Prospidians. Hmm. You're beginning to think you'll never run into them. It doesn't even really look vaguely like them, <laughs> but okay. I guess that was entertaining. You got a game grub magazine. The publication is absolutely dripping with exclusive grub leaks. Actually, it's a pretty disgusting magazine. <laughs> Leaky grubs. Okay. I guess we'll move on to the um, area of Durse or whatever the purpleness is. Which then it's kind of a Dirk's Prospect bridge. Oh, hey! It's Tuna. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Talk to me, Tuna. Hey, bro. Pretty nice stunt there. I offered a high five, but you just would have missed. Hashtag by about 10 feet. Shit, <laughs> shit! <laughs> uh, it is cool. D gee, don't wake out. Just taking a rain check on it. My hand slides it came from, you know? No, let's, let's do this. Get rid of fell down again. <coughs> uh, no, seriously. Look at the high five. I don't want to be responsible for you hurting yourself. Uh, go fill your nook. <laughs> Filet, I guess. Dude, you're a foul and unpleasant as ever. Though, die I'm the edge off, but I guess not. Keep my shattering tunnel, you stank ass scum bucket! Man, why you gotta hate? And listen, bro, you better watch it with those slurs. Hashtag or tag him at least. Uh, unless you want conquer given the biz. I'm sorry. I'll keep this quick. Come right out and ask. You ever get God tear to a boy? What? Huh? No. Maybe I mean. I, I don't. Okay. Let's take off my bad shirt, dear. Let me see if you got your wings. <laughs> yes. That you never ask. <laughs> What the fuck? 
Oh, uh, he's kind of like impossible to understand. He came around to my wild motherfucker. <laughs> oh, jeez. I am having stability issues. How do you want to take off my clothes again? Yeah, keep your shirt on. You made that exchange and you're awful. I'm sorry. You know if anyone else in my big glass here in secret? Uh, no, but I can run go through box of the shippers. <laughs> Starting with you. <laughs> Boom, yeah. <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> Poor Chan. He's adorable, though. Adorable in the most grody, disgusting way. Ask me to the join? Hey, Tuna, you want to have me go kill? <laughs> I can't finish this question without staying serious. No, but what do I want? It's for maintaining precarious, but my ability to sustain balance on my tight ass fall down hat. Maybe you cringe some new shit? Hashtag sports. What were you going? I volunteer that seems to be you. Gross, bro. Do you know how that's what even deals? I'm sorry. But also, fuck you and your fucking chubby, sucky, strong humping brain stick right up your shifty, problem soaked throat suit till you suck it, this tricky sick fucking suck. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Them with some sick fires mostly. I spit all over my screen. Hashtag at least the parts that were actual words. Hey, isn't that after life supposed to heal people or. I don't understand. Why is that pyro still can't smell? And you still got horrible brain problems. Hashtag, don't tell me Leon's still deaf. I give up on figuring out the existential mysteries. Traitor. Hey, fuck you! I feel I should jump in here at this moment before this escalates any further and we start throwing around hateful rhetoric that we can't take back. Hashtag, aw, oh, shell no. Miss Yuna, I know you often struggle with this, but you used to be an extremely derogatory and hurtful caste specific slur, as which you probably know was once commonly used to disparage sea dwellers and members of such society or land dwelling caste who were especially complicit in furthering the oppressive future down power structure. Now, we all need to realize that royal bees and those rare whom you're even higher, such as Mina, as members of the aristocracy, enjoy tremendous position of privilege over others, and therefore we cannot use such verbal transgressions against them as equivalent to those targeting the underprivileged, but it needs to be pointed out that such radioactive language is absolutely the worst kind of poisoning, which is nothing but counterproductive when others are trying to pursue an honest dialogue about critically important social problems. Hashtag slurge, hashtag hurtful, hashtag struggle, hashtag radioactive, hashtag well poisoning, hashtag counterproductive, hashtag problems. <sighs> and Mina, while I can understand your frustration over being verbally assaulted under any circumstance, it is incumbent on me to remind you that Matuna requires a special amount of consideration and more than a little patience. Please try to resist taking his bait, which I'm guessing is mostly well intended, uh, before its contentious undertow pulls you further into exchange laden with problematic expressions of ableism, ableist slurs, and other such manifestations of unconsciously unchecked state ability privilege. Hashtag ableism. Hashtag ability privilege. Hashtag I'm slurring everywhere. Hashtag bait. Hashtag undertow. Hashtag are the aquatic terms helping? Vantis, what the actual fuck are you doing here? How are you even in this chat, yo? You aren't even remotely in the same quarry or vicinity as us. Like, I literally do not understand how you just jump into the conversation like that. Can you maybe get lost? Hashtag make like a clam and scray. On the other hand, if I'm being honest, I found Matuna's entire existence to be a pretty problematic impediment to the advancement of overall awareness of ableism and its painful manifold consequences for unabilityed persons. A speech impediment, frankly, I could do without, and I'm by no means ecstatic over his torrential bigotry and hostility. On the one hand, I want to be sensitive to him as a person and as a friend, but on the other, what kind of messages does his behavior send? And frankly, I'm not crazy about the helmet either. What's wrong with my helmet? Nothing, friend. It looks really like a really cool helmet, and it's a good look for you. But we are now to assume that all those who are stricken with their peculiar disadvantage will be similar prone to require such headgear to falling down and hitting their heads frequently. But if you fall down and hit my head frequently. Oh, I know you do, and I think you should continue to wear it for your safety, particularly if you continue to insist on floundering about in your dangerous toy. It's more about the unfortunate message you are sending overall with a certain aspect of your personality and existence, that's all. I'm sorry. As a friend, I wouldn't want to change anything about you. Well, not most things. I think you would... I think you may not be doing yourself or those who are similarly disadvantaged any favors with what I'm hoping is a perfectly innocent array of traits and mannerisms. But again, I say this with all due sensitivity. Where did that eight come from? Fantas, you'll be in a shit. Don't talk about him like that. Anyway, I didn't mean to derail. I'll be on my way. Please continue your discussion and try to keep some of the issues I described at length in mind. I hate all my friends so fucking much. In just one second. Okay, so I asked him to join. Can I be him? Oh, I can be him. Let's be Mina. I'll do that later. 
This custodian really has his hands full taking care of that guy. You kind of feel bad with the hideous monster. Hashtag bye flops dad. Or at least that's your observation if you're being Mina right now. If you're being Matuna, you bay your enormous oriental unit for some mind honey. The huge beast grunts dismissively and bops you on the helmet. You fall on your ass and throw a tantrum. Hashtag, but what if I'm Cronus? Hashtag, let's not worry about that, okay? You got a club key! Yay! I'm in the club. You got a tarot deck. Any aspiring seer will be crazy enough to keep one of these on hand. Maybe you'll try selling it to Concrete later, or the talkative broad in the orange nightgown. Hashtag highly desirable merchandise. Lily pad? This does not contain your memory. Only Mulan can access this bubble. Yay! You got a spade key! Hey, girl Oz. Yo, freak, remember me? So, so what kind of conversation could we even have that wouldn't be weird and awkward? I see. Got anything for me other than an clear and a gross stitched up smile? What's the video word these days? Should be cool, home skillet. <laughs> So, I guess I want you to join my army. Maybe. If you promise you ain't gonna be too capricious or clown ass bash shit or whatever. Well, at least you're honest about it. Got any crazy chuckle voodoo tips on how to kill a cherub? So, nothing to say as usual then. It's awesome we had this talk. You wouldn't even know how to begin me, Miss Oddball. That's just leave him alone. You got a juju. A voodoo doll to be exact. You wonder what happens if you pull one of those pins. Nah, I better leave him be. Got a bad feeling about this thing. Really bad, uh, what's the word you're looking for? Bad mojo? Hashtag whatever you say. You're leaving? Uh, they're plugged in. You got a juju! It looks to be a chess set to be specific. It's quite lovely, but a bunch of the pieces are missing. <gasps> Hashtag cat mom. You got an olive potion! This is supposed to be a love potion. Just one sip and- Ah! It's more nasty troll blood! What the hell is going on here? Who is even bottling this stuff? Oh well, you'll hang on to it anyway. Maybe you'll be able to con some love-struck sucker out of a whole mess of boonies for this sloth. Hashtag hustling! On the other hand, if you're not Mina right now, you just chuck it off the lily pad. You got a teapot! Mmm. Cameo meal. You got a pair of action claws. Oh, easy there. You could accidentally grab one of them firmly and then drag it across your face diagonally if you're not careful. This does not contain your memory. Only Curlaws can access this bubble. Oh, okay. But I thought we couldn't beat him. And the heart key. Yay. Sup, Mew? Whoa, Leon! Your rumble spheres calm those suckers this instant. No! I will not clam them! They will stay widely and gleefully unclammed because, and I repeat, Mog! Mog. Mog, Mina! Mog! I don't get it. Mina, Mog cannot be any simpler. Hashtag unless spelled correctly. Dude, fuck Mog. 
Oh, wait, you mean OMD. Mm-hmm. Well, fuck that, too. I know you can't physically monitor the volume of your piercing fangirly shrieks, but try to keep it down. Like, just be normal excited for once. Or, should I say, fur pounce? <laughs> so many E's! Mina, I missed you so much! Why didn't we ever hang out when we were alive? I had so much time to ponder that, and it's one of my deepest regrets. It was probably because you didn't like me very much. But that's cool. No one really did. What? That's not true. I'm sure I liked you. Didn't I? Hashtag, you were involved in some of my finest ships. I mean, I did try to kill you a couple times. You did? I don't remember that. Wada under the crossing trestle. Yes! But, um, if you tried to kill me, shouldn't I be the one to say that to you? Le JJ, how about you shut up and go back to being excited to see me? Hashtag, feel free to unclam those tattoos. And she's like signing rapid fire with a gif of it looks like Marceline with a weird haircut. <laughs> and Colbert. And Usagi and Minako. Can we please call it on the shitty minds though? Seriously, you can't understand what you're trying to say half the time. Hashtag a literal worst form of communication ever. We have to catch up right away! You missed out so much when you were gone! Hashtag catch! Hashtag like a fish! Hashtag see I'm your friend! Did I really? To be conscious, that sounds mad unlikely. You would not even believe the boring conversation I just slogged through with some of you glubbing windbaggers. Hashtag even ones where I said he wasn't even being me. You so did though! We've all been through a lot together since we died. I believe we've made a lot of progress on dealing with our personal issues and putting our old differences behind us. Hashtag eternity has only strengthened my commitment to cat puns. Don't sound like you put much time into your fighting skills, though. Y'all do realize I might be on the verge of dying again, right? And the shipping! Oh my god, Mina, the shipping! You won't even believe who got together over the sweeps. And the quadrants! The quadrants they paired up in, it will blow your mind. I don't think I can even convey how much. I just... Hashtag don't. Hashtag I. I can't. Hashtag no. Hashtag that's it. I am completely unable to can right now. Hashtag have exactly zero cans. You don't understand, Mina. The feels. The feels! Hashtag mime's incoming. <laughs> I have a suspicion this chat would devolve into gossip about who bang who. Let me know if you want to catch up on actual relevant shit sometime. Hashtag in my math. Hashtag y'all got shell phones here, right? I'll add you, girl, Mumix. <laughs> Mumix, that's cute. Okay, so... Ask Mulan to join? So tell me, what exactly is the bullshit reason you can't join me to go fight a little bad guy? You want me to go fight that guy with you? Oh, but I do not think that will be fe feasible. No shit. I don't want to completely wash my paws of the idea. But I just have so many balls of yarn in the air right now. So many potential ships to juggle. A busy hypothetical matchmaker's job is never done. That isn't anything even close to resembling a real responsibility. I don't want you to think I don't give a lick about joining your fight, but I just don't think I will be very useful. By the way, lick was a subtle cat pun. Dunno, it doesn't sound like you give much of carb about anything that isn't shipping or saying cat things. Beach away sound was a subtle pun pertaining to oceanic geography. <laughs> hashtag also hashtag carp is a fish. Hashtag in any fin, it's just a thing I say all the time, duh. Come on, Mina, don't you want to relax a nip before you go right off to rough hive some more? I hear you have taken a keen interest in Concrete's ancestor. Son of a fish. Well, Mina, is that true? Hashtag hmm. Even if it was true, which is the very de definition of ain't, how the shit could you even have heard something like that already? Hashtag not literally heard, hashtag with your ears, hashtag you know what I mean. He? It's true, I just know it. Ties. Hashtag is dead. Mulan is me. I have decided this. Yeah, please do that. 
Do you want me to set you up with him? Before you say no, I urge you not to underestimate the power of my romantic sorceries. You have been out of the loop for such a long time. You have no idea what kind of miracles have been wrought by the Mage of Heart. Now, before I work my magic, we should get one thing clear. Is your yearning red or black? I am only asking to be absolutely certain, but methinks there is barely any doubt about it. Someone is waxing scarlet for a loud, younger concrete. Hmm? Now, are you reading my lips? Pretend you can hear me, and then I'm saying this so loud your kitty cat ears hurt. Shut the fuck up. Don't set me up with an emily, okay? Anemone boy? That's... You spelled buoy wrong, though. Hashtag how fish puns be done. Hashtag buoy, yeah. Just keep it in your friend fix. Right about us doing it or whatever. Just shut up. Oh! G.M. I have the best idea for a fic like that. But don't worry, my policy with such licentious material is not the same as it's always been. I will not show a soul until I have shown it to you and your younger Vantis, and you both approve. I promise. Yay, another web of conversation under my belt. Hashtag belt with a bedazzled fuchsia strap and a solid gold buckle. Time to bounce. And I guess I can be Mulin. Easily. But... Um, I guess we'll do that later? I'm not really sure where I should start with being everybody else. But I might as well bring the keys back. I think I've explored all the areas thus far. I just need to activate those bubbles. So, I'll start off by being Mituna. And somehow locate the last key. Oh, I guess I have all the keys. Sweet. <coughs> Welcome to Carcats Hive. Hey, get the fuck out of my- Oh, it's you again. Uh, sorry, for a second I thought Aridin's awful ancestor found his way in here. I didn't even know it was possible to be more of a shitbag than that guy, but somehow Impora Teen Senior pulls it off. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't absorb it with my own aggravation sponge. Just incredible. Yeah, Vantis, I'm gonna clue you in on something. Most of my crew is hex of dreadful to be around. I know! How is it even possible for a group of people to suck so much when they're presumably almost genetically identical to a bunch of people I like? Maybe it's the age difference? Or the fact that they all grew up on a planet for lame pansies who are civically obligated to wet themselves daily? <laughs> I have to admit, meeting all our ancestors like this has been kind of overwhelming. I kind of had to get away from everyone and just be alone for a while. Hopefully I'll just fucking wake up soon. Oh, uh, you want us to step off? Uh, no, that's okay. You're actually fine, mostly. I just couldn't take another encounter with the red sweater guy. He's left my head spinning, and not just because he never shuts the fuck up. For a long time, I didn't even believe we had ancestors. I thought even the concept of ancestors was just superstitious, ego-stroking, aristocratic bullshit. But not only does it turn out you're all real, but apparently you had this whole different culture in an alternate universe before us. Uh, sorry, that's a lot to take in. Wait. Oh, no. No, fuck me. Holy fuck. Before us? God damn it, I just got that. See? That's what I'm talking about. Many good guys have made me, like, a little infuriating revelations that, like, <laughs> that almost constantly. Wow, I read that totally wrong. Like, now it casts the name of my own planet in a whole new stupid light. Alternia? As in, alternate? Alternate to what? It turns out that it is the alternative to a planet called Before Us. The planet which came before us. Ha <laughs> I get it. Whatever jokers name these planets were complete fucking morons. <laughs> well, for what it's worth... I'll turn you as the bomb compared to my planet. And I'm not just saying that because growing up me ran the joint. Hey, don't let anyone kid you. I'll turn you was fucking great. I don't even care that my blood made me pariah. It was worth it to live on such a badass planet. Some people like to talk shit about the Empress. And it's true, she probably would have called the shit out of me on sight. But you know what? I always respected her as a strong leader. She knew how to get shit done and didn't put up with ascension from worthless idiots. And all she did was, you know, take over the entire fucking galaxy. Not too shabby. I used to have a kind of embarrassing fantasy that I would grow up one day and become a Thresh You know what that is? Hmm? 
They were like the deadliest squad of interstellar fighters under the command of the Empress. They helped conquer more planets than any other Imperial force. But it would have been impossible for me to make the cut because of my blood. So I used to think all these elaborate scenarios to hide my blood color, or in more ridiculous fantasies, maybe I could even prove my worth as a soldier. Like, just be so awesome with a the sickle, they would just have to make an exception. Maybe even like a folk hero and rise through the ranks to become their leader. <laughs> Those were obviously just some childish daydreams. I've learned a lot about what being a leader really means since then. I mean that it's a lot harder than everyone thinks. So I guess I learned to respect who you turned out to be on my world even more than I did already because of that. Yeah. The leadership thing is hard as globes. Could barely get anyone to lift a flipping finger in my session. And now it's like that all over again trying to raise this army. I really didn't know how a sexy bitch growing up me pulled off. Oh yeah, how is that going? How many recruits do you have? Wanna take a guess? Oh, still zero, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. Seriously, fuck leadership. I know! Well, look, how about this? Later on, when I'm awake, obviously, maybe our meteor will hit a rendezvous point with you again. If by then you're still looking for recruits, I'll, like, cop off the meteor or something and join your army. And then we, I mean, you and me and whatever other idiots you rounded up, can all go fight the Invincible Demon. I don't know why every time I turn around I'm up against an Invincible Demon of one sort or another. I guess it's just the impossible kind of thing Paradox Space wants me to prove I'm not some horrible mistake of nature. Anyway, does that sound good? Oh, but on one condition. As the new Empress, you have to appoint me as Grand Thrushcutioner of your army. Do we have a deal? Oh, yes, 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 you got it, yes! Good. Okay, that's settled. Now I'm going to go for a walk and do some more thinking. Alone, okay? Just, uh, make yourself at home in here in the strange memory projection of my room. I'd tell you not to rifle through my shit, but none of it is even real. So go nuts, whatever. I'm leaving. Be car time. Um... I suppose. Since I've been everybody as Mina. Oh, like I said, make yourself at home. Feel free to hang out with my Lucis there. Though I should warn you, he's never met another kid he didn't make at least some vague attempt to eat. <clears throat> Looks like someone's custodian is in a permanently surly mood today, as well as other days. Hashtag crab dad. Okay. I've been everybody as Mina, I guess I can just go out and be car cat for a while. You got a stabbing cane. It'd be really unfortunate to be blind and walk around without having a reliable instrument to help you stab where you're going. Yes, stabbing cane. You got a sack full of embezzled beetles. It is the absolute perfect currency for bribing corrupt prosecutors where you find yourself in the hot seat with the law. Their grease now simply cannot resist. Just make sure the terrifying brainless monster judge doesn't catch you in the act. You have to wait for his tyranny to be distracted by something besides the judicial proceedings. This is an occurrence that is far from infrequent. Talk to Terezi? Uh, Terezi, what are you doing here? I didn't know you were asleep. Hmm. Why are you here all alone in the woods? Or the pretend woods, I guess. And why do you have your dragon cosplay pulled down like that? Is something the matter? No. I'm fine. You don't sound fine. Don't bullshit me like that. I know when something's up with you. Crack it, please. Just leave me alone. Okay, I get it if you want some alone time. I mean, I actually just got done sulking the fuck out myself just now. But it really helps to talk to somebody. You can talk to me about stuff. You know that, right? Yeah, I guess. Is it Dave? Did he do something douchey again? Did he break up with you? He broke up with you, didn't he? I knew it. I could just see the writing on the wall. He didn't break up with me. It has nothing to do with Dave. Okay, then what? It's my ancestor. Yeah, what about her? She, she's just so radical. Huh? I just did not know it was even possible to be so rad. I almost can't handle it, car cat. The radness. How does she do it? Well, let's see. She rides a fucking skateboard, and that's it. Pretty much end of the explanation. I think it is so much more than that. Everyone loves her. She's so sassy and fun, and she's the best at games, and all her stunts are incredible. How am I supposed to measure up to that? Oh, come on. Don't tell me this is going to be a thing with you now. What thing? A self-esteem thing? You really shouldn't be like that. It's just so unwarranted. 
Well, that's how I feel, so too bad. Terezi, I can't stress this enough. You are not in anyone's shadow. Let me tell you something about our ancestors. They are all assholes! She is not an asshole. No, she is. Trust me. They all are. At least the vast majority. They practically aren't even people. They're walking, talking, like... I don't know how to put it. Almost like living parodies of horrible, cliched behavior patterns. What? You mean, like, teenagers? Yes. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But it's more than just that. Take my ancestor, for example. Total asshole! Probably the worst asshole there is. You wouldn't know it right away, because I guess he doesn't yell at people like me. But that's probably makes it worse. He just goes on and on about the most sanctimonious, incomprehensible garbage you ever heard. He thinks he's better than everyone, but he dresses it up in this bogus higher academic humility. He tries to defend people with his problems, with problems, but he just winds up insulting those people in backhanded ways. He lectures people endlessly, and whenever he rises to the defense of his friends, he usually ends up giving them a big fuck you by being implicitly judgmental. I could really go on forever about him, but I won't, because then I'd be stooping to his level. Okay, where we left off, uh, stooping to his level... <laughs> and your ancestor, yeah, she's fun, I guess, but talk about a phony. Oh, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Losing your sense of smell is not a real disability. Her rag girl thing is such an obvious act. She's clearly worked for sweeps on perfecting it, and quite apparently revels in the attention it gets her. But the fact that she works so hard on it is exactly why you don't have anything to worry about. You don't even need to try to be the good person you already are. See, you already know how to be fun and be likable just by being yourself. It doesn't need to be part of some over-the-top shtick to impress people. When she does the rag girl thing, it's like a disguise, probably covering up some part of herself she's unhappy with. But when you withdraw and cover yourself up like that, you're actually just preventing people from seeing someone who's already beautiful. I know I completely fucked up with you. This isn't a... Okay, I'm not, like, trying to redeem myself here. I made my Riku Raccoon, and now I have to wriggle around in its slime. I totally accept that. But as your friend, I really don't want you to start feeling bad about yourself because of one of those shallow, two-dimensional dipshits. But I totally concede that you made a choice about me, and I respect your decision. I just want you to be happy is all. Okay, I'm probably just sticking my foot in my fucking talk blaster yet again, and I'm probably making you uncomfortable. I guess I'll go back to my room now. I hope you take at least some of what I said seriously, though. Um, yeah, okay, bye. That was really sweet. Quite possibly the cutest thing ever. Oh, car cat. Hmm. Oh, now I can be Terzy? Cool, I guess. Is that all I could do as car cat? Oh, the hive changes its appearance based on who's there? And where it goes, I guess. No, I didn't tell you to go back outside. I was trying to get you over to the computer. Or husk top, in this instance. Ah, talk to me now. Oh, hey. It's you. What are you doing in my hive? Shit, power up, don't sniff at me. I was standing around in Shoutcast place and it all dream switched on me out of nowhere. Did you see him come in here? No. Wait, is you looking for him now, too? Yes. Well, luck with that, I got slippery as a goddamn eel. Spent all day tracking him down myself. But I finally caught up with him a little while ago. So? Yeah. And I think we might be going on a date later? What? I mean, maybe. I don't know if I'm misreading his intent there. You might know better than me. Well, what did he say? But whatever the case is later, he's gonna hop off of me and fight Lord Invincible with me. What do you think I am? Reading too much into this shit, or...? Um... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Anyway, I'm out. It's how have you got It's cray cray power rope. Can't appreciate a girl with a godly sense of design. Do you mean that? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, so dragon outfit rules. Hmm. Okay, cool. That was really cute. Hmm. 
Okay. Talk to Arnia about Cherub Quest. I still haven't found her quite yet. Any leads, or...? Not really. She's apparently very well hidden. Uh, yeah, sure. But have you even really been looking? Um, or have you been fucking around with your little exposition stand? I have been dividing my time efficiently, but thank you for your concern. Thunder! It wasn't even that long ago we talked about other boring stuff. You had to drag your stand over the top of this tree, like all waiting for me up here. How long did that take? Never mind about that. And yes, I did stop along the way to explain some important things to people. People are curious about information, Nina. They want to know things, all right? They want to know, or you want to tell them? Both! Okay, let me ask this. Did you pay them so you could explain stuff? Yes. So? So how long would you estimate you spent cherub hunting in between your explainings? I... Look, finding this cherub was always going to be a slow-burning quest. It is an intricate, layered mystery that can't be rushed. I'm working up to it. I don't need a circuit. I have something to explain to you at no expense. I find your humorously ineffective approach to this quest be max adorbs. Tell me about Corona Sampora. The Bard of Hope may seem a little jaded these days, but he had once a deeply abiding faith in magic and dedicated himself to becoming a great wizard. He became convinced he was hatched to defeat an extraordinarily evil magician, one he sure the angels foretold of. Though when pressed for the name of the man, he would not say it, claiming it was too dangerous to even enunciate. Part of his self-aggrandizing mythos was that this magician once somehow from afar tried to strike him down at a young age, so he would never have to face him. But the evil spell was deflected, sealing the magician's spirit away in a series of unassuming vessels until he could find some other cunning way to enter our universe. The attack supposedly left him with his distinctive scar, which he was not reluctant to point out when trying to hit on me. Uh, I mean, he wasn't reluctant to mention it in casual conversation. But at some point he became disillusioned with magic. If there was ever any truth to his far-fetched vision, the legacy of defeating the evil magician would have to be passed on to his descendant. Or if his descendant proved to be as much of a failure as he did, then perhaps on some, on to some other hero of hope. I'm unsure why he suffered this crisis of faith, aside from the obvious reasons having to do with an overall lack of character, or any other redeeming qualities. Perhaps someone talked him out of his beliefs, maybe a friend close to him. Or, if he wanted to believe his fantasy held any water, perhaps someone who was in league with the evil magician. Whatever the case, it was probably for the best, since pretty much everyone who had half a think pan thought it was a bunch of ridiculous nonsense. So, okay, why I gotta hate on other people's religions? Don't you know they just as much load of crack body bunk as all your spiritual bullfuck? But I... Yes, I guess I was out of line. Sorry, I was just trying to riff on you, riff with you on a little mutually disliked acquaintance. Is that really so bad? Why do you have to take every opportunity to knock down my personal beliefs? You can't really... You can be really mean sometimes. Can I have my money now? Yes, here. Talk to me about Mithuna Captor. The heir of Doom was once a powerful psionic. He was gifted with vision twofold and had a strong prophetic insights wherever a bleak future was concerned. He had much to say when it came to warning us about the path of doom and destruction we were all headed for. But no one took him very seriously. But one day he lost all those abilities when he badly overexerted himself. It's hard to get any specifics from him, but indications are that he applied every last bit of energy he had toward some great act of heroism, saving us all from a looming threat. Not only did his exertion permanently burn out his psychic abilities, but it left him somewhat... er... Uh, incoherent. Yeah, I always wonder what happened there. Anyone ever get to the bottom of that? No, the entire incident is shrouded in mystery. From his limited and scattered accounts of what happened, it seems very likely that Kurlaz was with him at the time, as the only eyewitness. And of course, it's impossible to get any reliable information out of him. I guess we may never know, sadly. Hey, this was actually kind of interesting. It was well worth taking the money you're giving me to put up with it. Agreed. Tell me about Kurlaz. Prince of Rage actually used to be quite talkative. That is, until he had a nightmare which prompted the bizarre incident, after which he would never speak again. He took a sort of spiritual vow of silence, which I'm sure was probably related to his esoteric faith. Thereafter, he became infuriatingly enigmatic. I found it impossible to get any information out of him between his ambiguous mimes and penchant for riddles. It's very frustrating, especially for someone like me who has a passion for gathering as many facts about our story as possible. Want to know a secret? Please don't tell anyone, but I really can't stand the guy. It's probably unfair to him because he's obviously such a sweet and harmless fellow, but something about him just rubs me the wrong way. I guess I can be just a little petty sometimes. Yeah. Wow, Sir okay. Just wow, so rude. Poor clown. Don't give me that. I seem to remember you having more than a few unkind words for him behind his back. Yeah, I'm messing with you. He sucks. 
So, conversation over? Yes. Okay. Ching. I was like, okay? Or was it ka? Ching. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about Mulan. Mage of Heart, as you know, is an ardent disciple of the romantic sciences. She has a well-earned reputation as a miracle worker when it comes to matchmaking. But her own romantic history, ironically, has been riddled with trouble and heartbreak. Once, well before our session began, she and Curlaws were in a very loving matesbyship. It seemed to everyone they were made for each other. One day, they fell asleep together. Curlaws then released a nightmare so terrifying, well, had a nightmare so terrifying, he released the most dreadful sound imaginable. It truly echoed the horror of the vast honk itself. The noise was so loud and so awful, Mulan went completely deaf and her hearing never recovered. Curlaws was undoubtedly devastated by what he'd done to her. He was so distraught, he sewed his mouth shut and has never spoken a word since. Though they drifted apart as mate sprees, Mulan never held it against him, and even though they take delight in learning new ways to communicate, oh, even seemed, blah blah blah, they continue to remain very close to, to this day. Maybe a little too close, if you ask me. It's clear that her sympathies have been gradually swayed in support of the High Bloods cult. She stays private about her beliefs, but now and then I'll notice she lets some tentative mirthful doctrine slip out. I suppose I shouldn't be too concerned, though, since it's almost certainly a lot of harmless superstition. Honk. Honk, honk. Lol, I'm glad we both agree that Clowny fucking Sotical is the dumbest shit ever. Yes. Now here's your money. Thanks for listening. Sirks, do you even know how to the y'all are? <laughs> okay. Oh, no, but how do I get back? That's the question. Um, well, I guess I can't, so I'm going to have to start over. Okay, cool. It's not so bad. Hm. Or I broke it. Who knows? <laughs> to at least get the keys back, right? Is that important? I didn't hide them very well. Over the bridge. Tuna. Okay. So. Can be me tuna. Talk to me now. So, before you even start with your junk, I just want to point out I can barely understand a word you say. I I'm sorry. Like, between your cut off of quirk and your variety of weird conflicting speech impediments, and the fact that even aside from all the shitty numbers you stick in words, you're still misspelling half of what you say, I, I just give the fuck up. Hashtag give straight the fuck up, yo. Hashtag Uncle Mother Glover. Why do you shove me right into your panel and your earthly sexual private price of preferences? They fuck you were never a major player, at least from my personal vantage over the course of this ridiculous huge narrative. Hashtag way minor character, yo. Probably would've off my shelf even sooner if I had you that much. Oh. How do you say that? Sooner? Sooner? Word? Sooner? If I had to hear you talk that much. Hashtag really too bad since you got the bestest, fishiest name of anyone. Hashtag frown face. Sorry. I'm just gonna shut that off because as much as I love Game Bro, I'm not gonna listen to it this whole walk around. Well, I guess we'll find Cronus. This is going to be an awkward conversation. Hey, Steve. Looking good today. Is that a new helmet? No, oh, you fucks. <laughs> Easy there. It was a joke. Of course it's not a new helmet. What, do you think I'm pretty... Um, short on common sense? No. Did you see Mina go by? No. 
Is she playing that way, didn't she? No. Are you sure? No. Listen, mate. I don't want to call you a liar, but I saw her walk up to you. Hashtag liar. No. Hashtag no. I was spying on both of you from behind the hive over there. I saw you do a seriously groovy face playing off the railing. No, 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 no. You're really priceless, Captor. Have I ever told you what a cool cat I think you are? Why are you touching me? I really feel like you're one of the only people I can open up about my feelings. I guess it really does help to confide in someone who basically lacks the ability to repeat what you say with any clarity of coherence or even understand what you said in the first place. You're still touching me and I don't understand why this is happening. The truth be told, I always felt that way about you before you even started having, well, your issues. We always had a good thing together, didn't we? I don't want your hands there. Don't get me wrong, I know you and Latula are in a very committed matespreeship. Well, let's face facts. She could obviously do better. And I mean much better. Really, she is in a totally different league. She's charming and gorgeous, whereas you are, well... You, unfortunately, and I wouldn't dare intrude on in your long-standing moral allegiance with Car Carlos. And not because he scares the shit out of me, either. That just really doesn't seem to work, you and he, doesn't it? Don't get a peep out of him, of course. Not even if I'm super nice and compliment his hideous hair, and obviously I receive nothing but disgusting horseshit out of you and Ralph every time you open it. But you seem to bring out good qualities on each other, no? Is it true, the rumor that you are actually lucid when you talk to him instead of behaving like a babbling, vertigo-stricken imbecile? Why, when she weird, hushing, stop. But what I'm trying to say is, you don't judge like the others. Well, okay, you do, but I really can't take your witchery all that seriously, because you're so obviously reticent with your true emotions. Like, for instance, who would I confide in when I begin to fully come to terms with this feeling deep inside that I was actually a human born in the body of a troll, but never realized it until learning about the humans? Nobody. Except you, of course. You don't care that I'm a human kin. You don't mark me for it, and don't trivialize my tragic existence. Well, you do, but the point I'm trying to make is that when you mock me, it doesn't actually mean anything, because everything you say is such putrid nonsense. Hashtag friendship. I just want your hand, your hands to not be on my body, please. What? Oh, come on, guy. Just giving you a friendly little shoulder massage with one hand like this. See? In a way that doesn't seem, that seems very casual, like bros do. Please don't make this more awkward than it needs to be. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Now hold that thought. I'm going to see if I can catch up with Mina. Don't follow me because obviously you're going to cramp my style. How's my hair look? Uh, never mind. You don't know what you're talking about. I'll just use your reflective visor to check myself up. Yeah, it's looking great. Hashtag cool star. Can I come with you? <laughs> Jeepers, you're a thick-headed fellow. I just told you to stay put. I'm going to try some especially bold moves on Pacey's over there. Really pull out the flap, you dig? I don't think I need to remind you that your presence will be like spraying the area with libicide. Oh, libidicide. But... Uh, before it's the captor. Hello, this is Mission Control. Is anything getting through that helmet? I'm saying that your presence is a sexual poison, and if you're a drooly nearby while I chat her up, she will become distracted and have trouble picturing me naked. As a wingman, I must say, you are a true fucking disgrace. Hashtag true, hashtag fucking, hashtag disgrace. I'm sorry. Please stop apologizing so much. It's really unattractive. At this point, even I'm not sure if I want to sleep with you. Now, before I go, I just need to think of a good way to break the ice. Oh, I've got it! I'll open with some jokes about how hilarious it was when you fell on your face over there and what absolutely incredible fuck-up you are on every level. Thank you for the inspiration, friend. B. Cronus? Not yet. Holy shit. What a douche nugget. Like, okay, I believe that everybody is, you know, truly good on the inside. Some people just need a little bit of a guiding light, maybe. So let's go see our nice morale. Oh. Well, that's too bad. Um. I guess I could be Mina again and. Go be somebody else. Turn the music back on and. <laughs> it's like loading up and then down and then up again. Okay, so.
need to find the other keys again. Sweet. Let's be Mila. Talk to me now. What? Oh, I meant to ask. Have you met the humans yet? Yeah. Oh my god, aren't they just perf? Nah. Don't see what the big deal with them is. Mina, no. They are all so perfectly adorable. Each is literally more precious and perfect than the last. If only you could hear how bonkers you sound. Mina, Mina, no. Hashtag Mina. You don't understand. They are my babies. What the fuck's a baby? They are my perfect, precious, gay little babies! Uh, what's gay? It's a thing that human babies are sometimes, I think. I can't even deal with this, Mew. Hashtag a feeling you can. Hashtag when it comes to dealing with it. Oh, and do you even have the slightest idea what the shipping implication implicat puns are? <laughs> By adding the humans into the picture, both pre-scratch and scratch posts, it has increased the pairing possibilities exponentially. It's really been overwhelming. I can't even... I just... Hashtag no. That's it. Hashtag I can't. I'm so done. I'm done. Nope, nope, nope. I hate to change the subject. Hashtag not really. But I kind of sidestepped past Kurlov's right there while I was granting him a wide berth. Hashtag didn't want to get tangled up in his hair. He obviously won't say a thing to me, which is probably for the best. But since he actually talks to you, maybe you can answer stuff. Like what? Hashtag hair poofing tips? Like, do you know if he's God's here? I'm building this army and it's gonna be horror bubbly so far and I'm sure it would be unimaginably horrendous having him along, but I need all the muscle I can get, you know what I'm saying? I actually don't know. Yes, we are pretty close, but you know how he is. He's still very sneakerative and still loves making riddles out of everything. He's been very excited lately. He feels that so many of his spooky religion's prophecies are on the verge of coming true and the stars are coming into alignment. Remember how he used to go on and on about the messiahs, angels of double death, and all that wacky stuff? Yeah, we always had way too many religious nut jobs in our party, so I always tune in him trout. Hashtag more salmon puns. Hashtag, or should I say, hashtag salmon. Back when he could talk, at least. And then he did his all the psycho favor of sewing his mouth shut, so it was win-win. Hashtag angels of double win, more like. Heh, <laughs> I suppose. Please don't take this for interest in ship and talk. But you and he honor about Adam anymore, right? Oh, no, no, no. That was a long time ago. We're just really good friends now. We hang out and joke all the time. He even helps me with my grids. Generally, I stick to the red matchups while he advises on black. He's eerily talented at picking black on pairs. Probably even better than me. That was a boring fact. But it's cool you go from still. I thought I'd pick up heavy planktonic vibes from you. Now I should run along and talk to him. May use their mutually compatible disabilities for communicating and whatnot. Hashtag honorability mofos everywhere. <laughs> Conversation over. Okay. Okay, only Curl House can access that. Yes? You want to play it right now? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, hi, Mom. Hello. Recording. Hi. Oops. Um, just turn it on, change the channel to where it says front. I flipped the switch on it, though, and not the actual button, so you're gonna have to flip the, the switch on the back of the PlayStation. Also, I think my controller is dead. <laughs> so you might want to have to plug it in. But you're close enough to the PlayStation, you have to be able to reach it. I said the switch in the back. Okay, then push the button. There you go. Um, I don't think so. I've been playing PlayStation games on the PSN instead. It won't play automatically, regardless. Okay, um, one of these bubbles was Mulan only. So I need to find that one. And do that before I do anything else. You remember spending a fair amount of your time hopping around these lily pads? Once you stumbled on a treasure so rare, so incredible, you can neither find the words nor the mimes to describe it. Alas, you lost it. Could this be the gateway to that specific memory? You got a codpiece. So soft, so inviting. You're fighting the temptation to wear it right now with all your might. 
If the crotch was any more forgiving, it would be canonized by the Vatican. Sweet, I guess. Hello, Carlos. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> this reminds me of conversations I have with my best friend all the time. Holy shit, that's like all we do is trade gifs. Get the pony gif out of here. But the Doctor Who one makes up for it. Holy bonkers. Give Curlaws a codpiece? Yes. Excellent work, my mage. With this most righteous motherfucking pelvic apparel, the Wicked Ensemble is now complete. It must be delivered to the Bard of Rage at once so that he may continue our Lord's mortal motherfucking work. All hail the one true messiah. Hashtag OTM, hashtag writers and ninjets represent. Long live the angel of double death. May the bards write his chuckle voodoo's inspire nightmares in all who would applause Calicorn. And may the jocular kitty of his vast honk ring loud and motherfucking true all the way to Shangri La. Hashtag much clown love. Church. Okay, that's enough of motherfucking that pious noise. Hmm? You can use whichever one you want, it doesn't matter. Mine's just pink. Time to rendezvous with my homie killer and drop the special science on him. May this ludicrous pair of shorts a sniffs his holy mission and flummox all who would cast their unworthy gaze upon its fresh fucking bulge. A motherfucking man, my wicked kitty bitch. Very good. Phew. Kurzaz, my head feels really foggy. What just happened? I don't even remember walking over here. Hashtag, did we just toke on some bad nip or something? <laughs> You're right, I shouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Princess Bubblegum. Is that from Gem? Gem and the, the whatevers? Because I had a friend who was going to cosplay as Gem, but I don't actually remember. <laughs> What's that? You have to go run an errand? Okie dokie, have fun! <laughs> you didn't see nothing. Did you just ninja run out of my room? Also, you can't sign in because I'm not connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. You've kept many secrets from your friends. Secrets to you were always the most beautiful miracles of all. They are the private answers to a bunch of riddles no one ever asked. But since this place is made of memories, you've had to be extra careful with your secrets. You've carved out an extensive network of virtual catacombs through the bubbles, leading to hidden treasures, black recollections, and perhaps one or two illicit drop-off points. There is no need to approach the young misguided empress. She remains blissfully unaware of the machinations that transpire between the heroes of rage. Let her try to raise a pathetic army of souls. She will be double slain by her lord like all the other mirthless heretics. Honk. Honk! Hmm. You got a juju breaker. This is an extremely rare, dangerous, and particularly blasphemous item. The thought of destroying a precious juju makes your blood boil. This must be guarded carefully. You cannot let it fall into the wrong hands. It's a crowbar. <laughs> you got a juju chest. Only a cherub can open it. You will be double dying of curiosity to know what's inside, except for the fact that it would be heresy to even wonder. And you would bite your tongue for having the thought if you hadn't already chewed it off long ago. Oh, you can't get into Babylon mine. Can't I just join you? Oh, you can choose it, but you can't actually get into it because I haven't done anything beyond super easy mode. Yeah, you have to unlock um, at least normal mode on my game to actually play it. It won't let you do it otherwise. I would really appreciate it if you did, though, because I'm terrible at the game on anything other than super easy mode. <laughs> Thanks. 
playing Catherine, which I suck at. I come bearing the final jolly accoutrement to my faithful invertebrate. Thy bard little Gallia is done and fucking dusted by the special stars themselves. On this day the dark carnival rejoiced and said it was money. Now bring to life our wicked ruse with a plum, my ninja. Our lord awaits your servitude and tutelage at once. We shall now bust open these bitchin' elixir forties, and pour some sweeps fill out the souls who soon won't be no more. Shut your motherfucking mouth, give me the card base. Cool. I think that covers it. Yep, definitely covers it. Oh, Yulin's definitely more stacked than Mina is. Huh, that's funny. Arania is like the stackedest of all. I met a, a cosplayer, a human suck version of her, actually, that was like, she stepped out of the friggin' comic. Um. Okay. Need to be Cronus now, right? All right, be Misuna. Sit through that awkward conversation again. one again. I don't think I can go in there as anybody other than Mina, though. Alright. Blah, 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 blah. But what I was talking about regarding Cronus earlier is, like, yeah, I mean... I don't believe that anything is truly bad at the core, you know. People are born pretty much good. Which, I mean, that's a huge, long philosophical debate. But, uh, I think with a little guidance, he might not be such a total scumbag. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. I've been working on a song. I think you might. Your music is shit and I fucking hate you! Wow. <laughs> Fair enough. Really, that's totally fair. Hurtful beyond my ability to capture with language, but fair. But seriously, stay here. I'm gonna go work my magic on Peshis. Not literally, of course, because as I learned through a series of crushing revelations during my adolescence, magic isn't real. Hashtag just so over the wizarding scene. Void here, try not to fall down, and above all, try not to be seen. Alright. Wait, where'd she go? Dang it, looks like she ditched you again. Hashtag story of your life. Hashtag this is probably Captain Helmet's fault. Hashtag you should go grill him. I take it I can't go up here then. Yep. Okay, crony. Grill Miss Yuna. Hey, I thought I told you to stay put. <laughs> I told you to stay here in exactly the spot. I did. Hashtag D. Well, she is gone. Someone must have frightened her away. You must have spaced out and wandered into view briefly. She probably got one look at you and couldn't split fast enough. No, I hate here like you said. Wonderful. This is exactly what I needed. But with all my frayed emotions lately. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're lying. Your whole bifurcated demeanor is such an act. 
Half the time you are noxious and comprehensible, and the other time, other half you are mild and contrite. Sure, pal. As if I'm not so on to you. You only pretend to say you're sorry to get girls to like you more. Sure seems like Pyro's a sucker for the ruse. Like I'm not familiar with those tactics. Who do you think wrote the book on that? I don't know how it was your book. Be quiet. I really dislike the sound of you. Do you realize because of you, it may be epics before I get another shot with her? You said to crawl out of the bushes and shit your spacesuit in plain sight. I'm sorry. I said shut up. Do you have any idea of what a man in my class would do if a muster blood like you spoke to me in this way on Alternia? Honestly, sometimes I think I was hatched in the wrong universe, let alone the wrong body. I'm so sick of having to pretend to treat you with the dignity you wouldn't deserve, even if you could count the scars on my forehead. You couldn't tell me the answer if I asked what your favorite number was. Phew! Don't interrupt. You're a horrible friend and a horrible person. Mm. Latula is only with you out of pity. She doesn't have real feelings for you. No one could. Mm. You are a brain-damaged reject on a team full of rejects. A reject's reject. I would have called you myself if that word meant what it should have on the planet. Ahem. <clears throat> Whoa, uh, Mina. Wow, uh, hmm. Wow. How long have, uh, were you standing there? Douche. Oh, whoops. I hit the wrong button. Yo, that was some scuzzy repartee that even for you, Crow Dog. The last thing my feelings need is your harsh judgment. I just can't handle that on top of everything else you've done to me. What the fuck else I've done to you? You ignored me. <sighs> this is serious. Please don't dismiss my emotions like that. Look, I have an especially tortured and confused soul. I really can't afford anemone more grief from you. Hashtag eh? Hashtag eh? I cannot believe you are doing my fish pun thing while you're still trying to hit on me. Eh, worth a shot. Don't ever say a fish thing again or I'll gut you. You know, you're being a bit hypocritical there, don't you think? What? Taking me to task for ribbon capture, a sorely deserved new nook. Like you aren't even more guilty of abusing the poor fella. You're such a glubbing liar. Oh, am I? Tell me, pray tell, who was it exactly in which alternate universe? They used grown-up captor as a living warp drive in her spaceship for millennia. Hashtag helmsman. Hey, that wasn't me. I mean, not yet. Uh, alternate ways. Oh, sure. No grub sauce on your hands. Wow, you did it. And for you totally changed my mind about you. Let's stop making out immediately. Hashtag not. Just admit it. You have it within you to be just as harsh to our heavy helmeted buddy as I am, if not more. Hashtag helm John. Man, a girl's gotta have fuel for her pimp ride, know what I'm saying? Like, I probably took care of him good. You know how it is. Someone's gotta take care of the guy anyways. And, yeah. Oh, how the rationalizations begin to flow when it suits your overinflated ego. It's a very typical of people who reject me. I, literally everyone. At least I don't think I'm an alien. What? What are you talking about? Look at you all fronting that stupid get up. With your slick hand, that dumb little wand in your mouth. Excuse me, it's not a wand. You know perfectly well my visiting days are behind me. It's called a human cigarette, and apparently you're supposed to set it on fire. Although if you ask me, burning it seems like a voice of a perfectly good and cool cigarette. I heard a rumor you think you a human now. That true? It's a private matter. I don't see why I have to be have to talk about it with you and open myself up for more of your judgmental scorn. Sounds like another district crap for attention, IMO. I feel I should jump in here at this moment, Mina, before you inadvertently shame Cronus for his extremely delicate feelings of species dysphoria. No, Concrete, man, you don't need to jump in here and defend me like this. I got it. And I'm gone. You bros can figure out your boring feelings without me. Mina, wait. Aw, oh, man, just like that, she's out of my life again. You had to go and fuck it up for me, didn't you? Some friends I have. Listen, I was doing you a favor. You don't need to be dating someone who can't really appreciate you for who you really are, or more importantly, which fantasy version of yourself you most strongly identify with. Yeah, you're probably right. She doesn't appreciate me. So few of you cats do, really. Hashtag, even the ones who literally identify as cats. To be honest, she might be right. Sometimes I think I might only be saying I'm a human to get attention. Maybe I should give it up. I'd be extremely disappointed to hear that if it were true. That would be such a slap to the face to all those who know themselves to be an alien while trapped in the pedestrian body of their own race. It would be unspeakably invalidating of their struggles and massively trickling to their emotions. Triggling? Triggering. Yes. Hashtag trigger warning. Hashtag invalidated struggles. Hashtag trigger emotions. 
But unfortunately, I know you would never stoop so low as that. You understandably have doubts about your feelings and probably downplay them as a defense mechanism, since so few are prepared to recognize the legitimacy of your plight. But I am, and I wanted you to know that I'm here for you, and I'm prepared to lecture you extensively, I mean, listen to you extensively, after your ultra about your ultra-important problem. Wow. Thanks, pal. You're right. My feelings really are, for are real. Not fake, like the huge disappointing fraud that magic turned out to be. I guess the truth is, deep down I always knew I was a 1950s-style human greaser. I just needed to finally be introduced to human culture to make sense of those feelings. Wonderful. I'm so happy you found the authentic truth within yourself. Now, join me in tracking our discussion with righteous warnings as we consecrate and disadvantage the holy annals of problematics. Okay, then. And I think that's it. So. Um. That's it for that game. After what? Another hour? Another hour of bumbling through the afterlife with very little to show for your efforts, you decide to pause the game again. You can only spend so long powering through the dead troll equivalent of an unpleasant high school reunion without making a trip to the load gaper or fixing yourself a little snack from the hunger trunk. There's definitely someone else you should be checking in with right now. Someone we are all desperate for an update on. And that someone is next video.